Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So today what we're going to look at is Notion. Now if you're a productivity person like myself, you would have heard of Notion. It's a free app now, so it's actually, they made it free for everybody to use. It just basically helps you organize your life a bit, organize everything around your life. Now today what I want to discuss is how it works on the iPad Pro and um, what you're missing out. Because I've moved over to the iPad Pro. I'm not really using my Mac anymore. Um, I might actually sell it. Um, so I, I and But I've been using Notion for quite some time. So I'm going to just talk you through some of my experiences using Notion on the iPad Pro. So let's go through it. Now, I don't mind you guys seeing some of this stuff. It's all good because uh, it's not too sensitive. Now, this is how I arrange my week and just kind of plan out things to do. Now, let's let's go through this. Let's go through this because, to be honest, this is going to be a bit of a negative video because Notion is not well prepared for the iPad. So, on the Mac app, you can literally just drag and drop. You can drag things around. Like you can, you see me now. I can't even drag anything. Watch, look, I can't, I can't do anything. So I, I can. It barely even highlights. Now, what you have to do is, if you take away the keyboard, so I just click here. You can use your finger to drag things around a little bit, right? So that is okay. Um, not great, but. It's okay because you see it's even it's glitching a bit as well. I mean, it's jumping around, but it's okay. It, it can kind of get you by. Um, another thing that is a bit not so great is the screen real estate. I mean, this is 12.9 and the MacBook is 13 inches. Okay, see, look, there's a glitch. You can even see there's a glitch here. So I'm trying to hit the hamburger menu and nothing is happening. Um... Just try to see if I can figure out why that's happening. Nope. So if we click here, take the keyboard away, which we can't take the keyboard away. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. This is actually worse than I planned. So let's try this. Okay. So you can see that it's very tight. The information is not readable. So having the menu out is not really a feasible plan. And then also you can look, you can't actually adjust the width of this menu. So yeah you can you, you can you guys can see for yourself this is not great at all now are there any good points to this <laughs> um let's try see if we were to try and change the image okay you can change okay you can change the image that's good um i guess you can change that too okay that's good let's see if we go here Okay, so, okay, so you can at least navigate horizontally. That's nice. Can you select? No. Okay. Can we actually, so for example, can we drag? So you can do that in the Mac version, but you can't do that here. So you can't reorder things. Um, at least not with the tra um, the trackpad. Let's try with the, okay. So with the, when you actually touch the screen, you can reorder things uh, as we saw before. So that, that could be a frustration because you you want to be able to just have that flexibility. That's the whole point of the iPad. But if you have to always put your finger to the screen or your Apple Pencil to the screen, it's going to make, it's going to slow down your productivity a lot. So the, to be honest, for me, Notion right now is basically unusable on the iPad Pro. Um, I honestly think... They need a big, big update. I'll probably have to use Apple Notes because that works. That's like super optimized for iPad Pro and it works really, really well. I'll probably have to use iPad Notes. I mean, sorry, Apple Notes until Notion um, has been updated and has, has been significantly improved because right now the it just doesn't work. It has to work the way it works on a Mac. So the way I use the trackpad and the keyboard on the Mac, it has to work the way it does on the iPad or for me it's unusable. So really that's it. That's it everyone. I don't think if you have to use Notion right now, no go. So thank you for watching the video guys. Um I really would appreciate a like um and a, and um hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. I'm gonna be making loads of videos 
going through everyday uses of the iPad Pro and how it can either integrate in your life or in this case, not integrate in your life. So thanks for watching. Peace.